As we have been reporting to you, at least 214 people are dead after an 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake rocked Chile today. That number could rise. Rescue efforts are continuing to devastate areas. The capital without power and basic services, including water and telephones. So we go now to Margaret Ugeri. She is global media strategist for International Medical Corps. And her group is waiting just for the green light to go into Chile. So Margaret, thank you for joining us. So what is the Medical Corps? What are you doing to prepare to deploy uh, to the affected areas right now? Well, International Medical Corps has teams that are standing by. We're essentially getting ready. We're getting our medical supplies, uh, medicines ready so that we can deploy teams into Chile if we are needed. Obviously, Chile has um, extremely good capacity to respond to emergencies. They had teams in Haiti, so they have good capacity. But obviously, you know, hospitals have been destroyed. Many, many families are, are out of their homes are displaced and so they are going to need help. Mm -hmm. So I imagine you got the call, someone woke you up possibly, but you guys are always ready to go to situations like this. It's you, uh, other agencies like yours, of course the, the Red Cross always there to help out. So listen, how do you contact and round up doctors and nurses from around the country at such short notice really? Yeah, well we have actually International Medical Corps has existing networks already in place. So we have arrangements with hospitals around the country, you know, Stanford, Columbia, uh, UCLA, as well as, you know, um, various hospitals and universities, as well as um, like the um, service employees, uh, international union, um, doctors and nurses who are ready to deploy. So in the instance of Haiti, we literally had teams that were ready to deploy the day of the earthquake. So listen, Margaret, First, what equipment yeah. do you think is needed right now? If people need to help, is there anything that the American public can do for you or people who may have medical supplies who can help? What's needed right now? Well, obviously, the best way to help an organization like International Medical Corps is to give us the flexibility to be able to respond in the way we need to, whether it's sending in supplies, airlifting supplies, or sending in personnel. So, you know, it sounds crass, but cash donations, going to our website, imcworldwide.org. That's always a great way to help us to be able to make the decisions whether we're going to um, procure equipment on the ground or be able to bring stuff in. Being, being able to give us the flexibility to make those decisions about what's needed most. Listen, it's not crass if you're trying to help out people, uh, it's, you know, thousands and thousands of people who have been affected by this. As the president said, 2.2 million people so far right. affected by this. Margaret Aguirre uh, is a global media strategist for International Medical Corps. We appreciate it. And we also want to tell our viewers that you can always go to CNN.com slash impact. You can impact your world by helping out as well.